guys uh, welcome back once again it's been a while that i did a video for you i'm sorry for delay i've received a whole lot of messages on how to connect easy worship to obs especially the new version it's very simple and like and i would like you to take pay attention to what i'm going to do for you tonight all right before you connect easy worship the new version to OBS, you have to install this tool, OBS, I think NDI tools. The NDI tools will help you to link Easy Worship, the new version, to the OBS. Okay, so because of time, I've already downloaded the OBS NDI tools. You can easily download it from Google. As soon as you type it there, you follow the link, then you download it. Just open it, extract, okay, all right, then you install it. It's just a simple thing to install. You can be, you can install the 32 bit, okay, it's just a simple thing to install. You no need to waste much time, all right. So, once you are done, once you are done with the installation of the OBS NDI tools. Let me show you another one, NDI tools, okay, NDI tools, you can, you call it download it, NDI tools, then from Google, then you install it. Once you are done, then you open your Easy Worship, that is the version 7, right? Once I'm done, I'll come to the Easy Worship, the 209, then I'll show you how to do that one too. Just follow. Don't worry about the activation. Just go to continue. All right, now we are there. Once it opens like this, just navigate straight to edit. Then go straight to options. All right, we just follow. Then at this part, because I've already done the installation, I've tried it before. Mine is, uh, you see the option NDI stream. So select NDI stream. Yours might be monitor one, custom position. Once you are done with the NDI installation, when you come here, you see NDI stream. Select that one. Okay. Then you click on OK. All right. Then let's go back to our OBS. We come to OBS. This is the interface for OBS. It looks complex, but it's simple to use. We come to the plus sign, okay? Plus sign. Then you go to NDI source. All right, NDI source. Clear all the name. You can choose to rename it any name that you want. But sake of this tutorial, I'm making it Easy Worship Seven. All right. Good. Let's click on OK. When it opens like this at the source name, click on this drop a drop down menu will show. Then you select Easy Worship Live. Okay. Then you click on OK. Let's see. Have you seen the logo Easy Worship is showing here? Drag it for it to fit in the screen. Wow. You are done. Now Let's go back to Easy Worship and project something to see that it's truly working. All right, let's project this. Okay, why well, it's live? I just double click on it and it came here, so it's live. All right, let's go back to OBS. You see it over there. It's just simple. No need of any plenty things. It's just simple. All right, you can just transi transition it. Then it will come to the live preview. All right, it's just simple. No need to struggle. Okay. Well, then once you are done, let me show you how to connect the Easy Worship, the 209 version, to the OBS2. Okay, please follow me. So, I'll minimize this thing. Okay, I'll close. Now I think we are done with the Easy Worship 7, so I'll close it. All 
I will close it. Okay. Let me click on this I so that nothing will be showing over here. Okay. Then I'll minimize this. So I'll open my Easy Worship version 9. With this version, I have the crack, so uh, it's very simple to use. Let's wait whilst it opens. Okay. Yeah. So, with this one, once it, it opens, let me project something for you to see. Let's say I want this one to show. Okay. So long as you see it here, meaning it's live. Okay. Once you are seeing it here, try and use the navigation key on your keyboard, on your keyboard, Alt plus Tab, so that you can navigate, okay? Once I press the tab, it navigates towards OBS. If I press the tab again, it will move to the next option, but this is what I want. Whilst you have your hand on the Alt, keep on pressing the tab, the arrow will keep on moving, you see? The arrow keeps on moving, but this time I want the OBS stream. Okay, so I'll leave it here. Then I'll come to the plus sign. Then I'll select Window Capture. Okay, so I'll rename this Easy Worship 209. Voila, we are done. Okay. We see that this thing open. So at the drop down menu here, where the arrow is, select the live output. Okay, select the live output. Voila, we are done. Then we click on OK. You see, it's very simple. You can just transition it. Okay, you can just transition it. All right, you can just transition it. it then that's so you are done for the day so please that is very simple on how to connect easy worship easy worship version 9 and version 7 to your OBS if you have any questions do not hesitate to pick my contact from the link below and I'll be oh, and I'll be glad to assist you thank you very much we will also be glad to accept any any of your support that i wish to support next console so that we can provide correct and nice videos for you thank you bye bye